you're a New York investor and you are just sick, just sick of the BS, man. Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holden Wise TV. I'm here to help you start, build, grow your real estate portfolio. Before that, though, I'm here to help you learn, educate you on the business, how it works, right? Been doing this a long time. $200 million. $200 million. <laughs> that's how much of this stuff I've sold, right? And that's not like I sold two properties for $100 million apiece. No. I specialize in super low cost properties, right? Like 25K, 40K, 100K, 200K. If you're a New York investor, those prices sound insane to you. It doesn't make sense, right? That's why we're talking to you guys today, right? Because my client, his name's Matt. He's from New York. He's an investor out there and he wants to get started. Like, He's just getting into the game, but he's running into a brick wall. It's too much BS in New York, man. The prices are insane. There, there, there's rent control. It just makes no sense, man. He wants to go somewhere else where it makes more sense, so he comes to us. We're doing these low-cost properties in the Cleveland market, right? And we could help you guys, but... What we do, we don't just shove properties down your throat. No, we get your wants, your needs, your goals, and we try to match you with the right properties. And for the type of stuff Matt is interested in, Matt, I think this quad that I got for you, it's in a little risky neighborhood, but I think it makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of value to that neighborhood, and I want to get into all of that with you right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. Again, if you haven't done so, Subscribe, follow, share, blah, 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 Facebook, TikTok, whatever. However you get your Holton Weiss TV, folks, you better be following us. 4406 Denison, Cleveland, 4 for 109. Six days on the market. This thing's probably going to move really quick, right? List price, two fifty nine 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 nine. All right, it's a four-unit apartment building, okay? I love four-unit apartment buildings. And I love this one more than I love most of them. And I love most of them quite a bit, right? Oh, I like that too right there. I didn't even notice that last time I looked over this. The exposed brick, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little touch there, right? All right. Now, the picture, not the greatest, but this is what I really love about this, all right? First of all, four-unit apartment building. In my opinion, the four-unit apartment building is the best investment any investor could ever buy, ever. It's better than a five-unit apartment. It's better than a three-unit apartment. You might think if a four-unit is better than a three-unit, why is a four-unit still better than a five-unit? It will make no sense. It's the financing, people, the financing, okay? The best kind of financing any real estate investor can get is residential financing. The terms on residential financing for non-owner-occupied properties are typically 30-year loans, fixed-interest loans, low-interest loans, tax-deductible loans, okay? You get qualified for these loans based upon your credit, your income, your ability to repay the mortgage, okay? There's one, 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 and only one negative to the residential financing. You can only get 10 of those. So you're better off using the first one for the home you live and then get nine investment properties. Now, I guess there's two negatives to it. The uh, second negative would be it only qualifies, you can only get this loan on certain types of properties. Residential properties with between one and four units, okay? So if you're doing the math at home, four is the biggest building, the biggest apartment building you can get with this amazing financing. That's why it's better than three because you get extra rent. You get another person paying you rent every month. It's also better than five because once you go up to five, you no longer get beautiful 30-year loans, okay? You no longer get those. You have to go to commercial loans, and then the debt service coverage ratio kicks in, and... Commercial lenders don't really like that because that's like the smallest building in their portfolio. It's a whole mess, and you definitely don't get 30-year terms, right? So I love four units. And again, the negative, though, you can only get 10 of these. I think you should use one on your personal home. So would you rather exhaust all nine of those investment mortgages and have nine units, nine rent checks coming in, or do you want 36 rent checks coming in? I think you want 36, right? And the other reason I love this property is this is a side-by-side, -side, okay? The units are side-by-side. -side. They're not 
like up down okay every tenant has multiple floors and it's bang 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 it's like townhome so you get longer stays we get higher rents okay now as far as the existing rents go they're in here okay eight hundo they got three units rented at eight hundo right one is vacant looks to be basically rent ready okay for the long haul, though, what's this really going to kick off? Because we should really look at things for the long haul, right? Looking at a snapshot of a small rental property like this, like what the current owner's doing, whether he's renting for below market or above market, you shouldn't make your investment decision based on that, right? Maybe he got lucky and got a tenant to pay extra because they couldn't go anywhere else. That's not replicable for you on a consistent basis. So focus on what this should do, right? What this should do over the long haul, right? Any individual tenant is relatively irrelevant, right? It's what's the tenant base willing to pay. And for these, these 3-1 townhome style units, man, 850 a pop, right? So 3400 a month, 40,800 a year, but you don't keep that, right? You don't keep the 40,800. No, no, no. Of course there's fixed and variable expense estimates. It's going to be about half. Half that money's going towards costs. Welcome to the game. That's how it is, okay? Now, as far as price goes, they have it listed at 259999. If you got to pay that number, I think it's fine. If you pay that number, it's only going to be $7 a month more on your 30-year mortgage than the number I think you should pay. The number I think you should pay is 250. If you pick it up at 250, you put down 62 and a half, bank kicks in 187 and a half, and using market rents that projects out to be an 18% cash on cash return. That is one heck of a way to use your limited mortgages. And again, if you have to come up to the full list price, it's not going to really screw anything up because it's literally all it's going to do is take your uh, mortgage, right? It's going to take your mortgage and it's going to make it $7 a month higher. $7 a month is irrelevant when we're looking at a four unit apartment building. And as far as the neighborhood goes, right? I like this neighborhood quite a bit. Let's talk about it, okay? Let me pull this bad boy up on the map here. All right. Now, what we have here, right? This right here? It's a little place I like to call Metro Health because that's its name. Obviously, that's what I'm going to call it, right? That is a hospital that's investing a billion dollars into the campus and the surrounding area, all right? Billion bucks. This is a D.C. grade neighborhood, okay? We got a whole bunch of D.C. grade neighborhoods in the Cleveland market. When you buy a property like this, you need to understand what's going to come along with D.C. grade stuff, right? I talk about that here on the show all the time. Check out the Tenants from Hell show. Uh, if you're not familiar, right, with these amazing price-to-rent ratios comes that risk. My opinion, over the long haul, property like this is primed, perfect, ready to go Section 8. It eliminates a lot of those risks. Current tenants, not Section 8, but remember, look at it in totality. Look at it over the long term, right? We're talking 30-year loans here, right? So look at it as a 30-year investment, not something you're buying like in, like what's going to happen in the next six months is how it's going to pan out for the next freaking three decades, right? So I think Section 8 eliminates your risk a lot, right? So if you're looking for these types of numbers, that's the type of neighborhood you're going to get into. But my favorite CD neighborhood in the Cleveland market is this one, this little area, because of that billion-dollar investment, right? If I'm going to invest in an area that's CD grade, I want it to be in an area where a billion bucks is being invested, right? In addition to that, if we make this a little bit bigger and we go ahead and zoom out, right? Talk about gentrification, talk about the resurgence of Cleveland. Well, the neighborhoods that happened in, Tremont, Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater, all right there. We're right there. We're bordering those then even further north is downtown, and then, of course, Lake Erie, right? So I think this one makes sense. If you can get it at 250 that's an amazing price. If you can't, you got to go full price. It is what it is. Quads are limited. A lot of people are going to want this. I think it makes sense to pay full list price if that's what you have to do because you should absolutely take this one down. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.